everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic back with another news update for new Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous toys from Mattel. Uh, we've been covering a lot of new reveals recently on the Collect Jurassic channel and uh, the hits just keep coming and these toys that we're going to be talking about today are definitely very exciting because they include human figures, something we haven't seen a lot from from Mattel and of course those human figures are from the Netflix show Camp Cretaceous which has gotten very popular in its first two seasons. So let's go ahead and take a look at the toys themselves. Here's the full lineup. Kenji, Ben, uh, Yaz, and of course Ben. Um, we'll go ahead and look at each figure individually as well as the dinosaur figures that come with it and the accessories. Um, but very exciting stuff because we're, again, finally getting more of those human figures fleshing out a little bit of the show uh, roster after just getting Darius last year. Um, we were definitely missing these other campers. So good to see that we're getting three more and hopefully more will be on the way after this wave. So let's talk about Kenji first. Kenji coming with a um, Monolophosaurus as well as a scooter. Um, you know, the scooter scene from Season 2, sort of reminiscent of that. Uh, the Monolophosaurus is interesting because it is a little bit different than the Monolophosaurus we already have. Um, you know, we have a Battle Damage and a Savage Strike version, but uh, this one's a little bit different. And the reason I think that is is because... All the figures that are in this assortment are attack pack sized, attack pack features, and I think that the Monolophosaurus here has been reworked into the attack pack size. So um, kind of uh, simpler details. Uh, the tail may be a little bit smaller. The articulation on the arms may be reworked. It looks like that head that was previously you know, um, articulated at the neck and, and maybe had a biting feature has been reworked to kind of fit into this smaller $8.99, sorry, $7.99 attack pack price point that would go alongside these humans. I think the price point for these two packs will be closer to $14.99, but that's why they couldn't just take the Monolophosaurus figure as is and add it here. But um, Kenji looks great too, obviously, um, perfect from the show. Um, has a signature outfit and haircut and all that stuff, of course. So um, another solid executed figure, just like Darius. So we'll switch gears here and take a look at that Darius 2-pack. Again, this is the same Darius figure we already got um, as far as part of the, sorry, as part of the Target 2-pack. Um, the, the Target 2-pack with the Stegosaurus and Baryonyx and Baby Blue. Um, you can see Darius is basically the same version as that figure, but... I think this set more than makes up for it because it also comes with Gallimimus, um, which has got some interesting colors on it, to say the least. It kind of matches the upcoming Fierce Force Gallimimus in colorway, which is actually, I think that's kind of cool that they have the same colors, but they're different molds. Um, but I know a lot of collectors out there have violently reacted to this paint scheme, but I would hold my breath until we see more of the figure. It's kind of hard to judge a figure like this with um, from one angle, but the accessories here are what's really exciting. We get Bumpy in the egg from the show, the scene where it's hatching, so our smallest Bumpy figure yet. We also get that resonating chamber from the Velociraptors that um, Darius uses in the first episode when he's playing the video game, and also that's the same sort of um, you know item from Jurassic Park 3 that uh, Grant and Billy use to lure the raptors. So that is a very cool accessory, not just from the show, but from Jurassic Park 3. So I think that and the little uh, bumpy egg make this the most exciting part of this set, alongside you know another Darius figure in Gallimimus. Next up, we have Yaz or Yasmina. Um, she comes with three dinosaurs, technically. You can see she's being uh, hugged by two Compsignathuses there. She also comes with a blue action figure, um, which is interesting because, you know, blue's been in the show a little bit, but not much. Um, it's kind of just one of those characters that I think Mattel and Universal, you know, kind of likes to keep front, front and center. So I wouldn't read too much into it being in this set. It's probably just because... Um, you know, they want to get blue into this wave somehow. So it is the new blue attack pack figure that we saw previously in the um, upcoming four pack that's coming to target. The Camp Cretaceous four pack with all four of the Raptor squad. So it is that blue figure. And then those copies are from the Legacy Collection sets and a couple other random sets that came in. But they haven't been out in a while, so I think new collectors will be will appreciate picking this up to get a couple of those copies. They're really fun. They're soft plastic. They, they kind of gr grab onto everything. And uh, Yaz looks great, too. Again, she's got her track suit on, so she just looks like she does from the show, um, and which is, you know, to be expected. And I think the likeness there will end up being pretty good. Um, I know these pictures are super blurry, so they're, they kind of look weird all blown up. But I think in the end, this figure is going to look excellent and really closely match the show. So another nice 
two-pack. Um, the final two-pack we want to talk about is, of course, Ben and Bumpy. I think this is the one that people are most excited about. Um, you know, Bumpy is obviously a very popular character, and season two, Ben is, uh, is a, a total blast, a total riot. So what's interesting is the other three characters sort of have their season one get-ups without much dirt on them, um, whereas Ben here has been has been through it all at this point, and, and his action figure um, sort of has that get up. He's got the you know the tank top, his shirt's gone. He's got the bandana. He's got a, a, sh- a shield and a spear that he made, um, which is awesome. Just such a cool little figure. And then Bumpy is interesting because it looks close to the attack pack figure we already have, but also different. The eyes are different. They're smaller. There's a couple other tweak proportions hard to tell if that's just because this this is an early concept photo or if this is truly a new bumpy figure that we're getting um definitely interested to see that i'm guessing in the end it'll be the same figure but maybe it will be a little bit different maybe it'll have a simpler paint app maybe there'll be some other tweaks we'll just have to wait and see but um makes sense that it's coming with bump with ben here should be an adult technically but we're not going to get too nitpicky because that ben figure is just so much fun and of course it's another human character to add to our mattel jurassic collection so another fine two-pack um you know my my takeaway from this is that um it's just awesome to see mattel getting back into human figures it sounds like that uh you know releasing them by themselves was never quite as lucrative as just doing dinosaur toys so they've found a way to sort of make us collectors happy while still getting, you know, that excitement on the shelf with the dinosaurs by packing them together. So I think that's a genius idea for this wave, and I hope that it does incredibly well um, for them so that we can keep seeing some more humans um, outside Camp Cretaceous even, maybe. But, uh, I mean, that's the hope, right, that we're going to see, um, you know, more characters. We're still missing Sammy. You know, we're still missing Brooklyn. Brooklyn's arguably one of the main characters. So hopefully those are on the way as part of a, you know, a second wave or other SKUs that have yet to be revealed. Of course, here on Collect Jurassic, we'll let you know as soon as those pop up. But I do think that's all I have to talk about today in this video. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic, and I will just see you next time. Thanks again.